everybody and welcome back to ages how you at welcome to all my butterflies out there uh i know it's been a minute of course you know i don't do these videos on schedule i do it when it when i feel the mood to do it so today as you saw by the title i have a summer shoe predicament okay so you know how you bring out your spring and summer shoes and you feel like, wait, some of these I haven't wore. Should I keep them? Should I not? So I'm a declutter and I bring it, I narrowed it down to these few that I have in front of me. Um, cause I have them sitting on a, um, a little blanket. Uh, but some of them I haven't even worn it really. And I'm gonna show you the bottom of them. And I'm thinking I got three new pair of shoes in and I'm gonna show you those last. And I'm thinking, do I need these shoes? Do I not? You know, what everybody think. So I'm styling the shoes for you. I, I just put on a white pair of pants and um, I just gonna do a little style to show you what the shoe look like. So you just see the shoes. And, um, and I'm gonna decide whether I'm gonna keep them or not. So how everybody been doing? I hope everybody's been doing well. Uh, let's see, what have I been doing? Um, I've seen quite a few movies since I last talked to you. Uh, let's see. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I cried the whole movie. Um, what else? Um, something came out that I cannot stand, so I didn't block it out of my mind. Because I'm like, I cannot stand this movie. Oh, yeah. I went to see Furious 10. Um, I'm just, I'm tired. Okay. Dom, can you get a broken arm, a, a, a foot, S something, okay? I can't take it anymore. And then you have a nerd to have a cliffhanger? Not doing it. Not doing it. But Jason Mimosa? <laughs> mm. Mm. He bring out the cougar in me. But other than that, this is going to be very quick. So I'm just going to do this video. You're not going to have anything at the end. Um, you, I have that on my next video. Uh, so right now, cause I don't like to fake it, right? If I don't have a scripture that I feel I want to talk about, I don't just pick one and just be like, say this. I can't do it guys. So you will not get one today. I will still have you in my prayers when I do my scripture though. Okay. So let me start with the white shoes. So my first pair of white shoes are these. So these are from Aldo's. And what I loved about it was this block and it's got the animal print with it. If you've been following me, you've seen these, but you've never seen me with them on outside of the house. And it's not because they hurt or anything. And look, the buckle that goes around it. So you seeing how very, very pretty it looks. I just hasn't I just haven't worn it. So you will be seeing me wear these because I, I just can't get rid of these. My second white pair is my uh, Balenci... Who is this there? Let me make sure before I say anything. These are my Versace uh, heels that I got secondhand. And you see it wraps around the ankle. Anything that wraps around the ankle is just sexy. It just is... It has its own thing. And I love the heel, how it's black and then it's plexi. But you can see the gold heel in the back. Why you wore these shoes? Guys, this is a sexy, sexy shoe. It's got a little platform. It's got the Versace uh, name right there on the buckle. It's leather and it's uh, stitched. Guys, what, what's happening? So sticking with nude, white is a nude. So I'm going to go with these. Look at these. These are from Bibi's. I thrifted these. They are 100% cork. And look at that heel. And you see me with these on. This is from BB's. I haven't, this the, I haven't thought about BB's in so long. And when I saw these at the thrift store, look, you can still see they were barely worn by the person. So you see, I got these. I narrowed these down. I, I cannot decide. Let's look at a pair that I have never, ever worn. These are from Aldo's. They are graffiti heels. And I will be wearing these this summer. Look at all the color. The color goes all the way down the back of the shoe. The heel is not that, it's thin, but it's not that big, you know, that long. And the strap across the shoe 
all of it and i put me a little comfy thing in there and i put a a, a slide prevention on the bottom because these when you buy them it's like this on the bottom you're gonna slide all over the place slide don't lord please there's too many cameras around please don't let me slide and you see you know i might have on a dress and and lord forbid i have on some granny panties and you see all that you know that's why you gotta make sure that you be prepared you never know a skirt may blow up a dress may blow up something at least let them see some sexy underwear right but i've never wore these they got smile love they, it's this shoe is a love it was i think it was a valentine's collection and this shoe is speaking nothing but love right here i have got to wear this this summer if i don't wear it and i have got to so you will be seeing pictures of me in this as well even if i take a picture walk outside take a picture or walk outside get in the car and then walk somewhere i will wear these out of the house next is these ones by jessica simpson she do make some pretty shoes and you can always find her shoes on sale these are suede so it's suede down the heel suede up here the buckle is suede and what i loved about it was these beautiful uh little pink and white pearls especially in the summer if you're going to a wedding um and you know you want to put something really pretty on with some pretty shoes and uh or if you want to dress up some jeans see i love wearing heels with jeans to me the sexiest thing is casual uh elegance i know what i want to wear it with so somebody tell me why i haven't worn it so the last pair is these that i got from who are these from kate robin i don't know but what i love about them is this, this is suede again and it's got this beautiful it's a dupe for something but i don't know what for this that goes around the ankle might as well be a piece of jewelry around the ankle as you can see and then it has it also on, on as the strap it's a, a round toe so if you don't like square toe this one is a round toe and it got the suede at the bottom and i've wore this maybe three or four times so you see these shoes either I haven't worn or I worn just a few times and I'm bringing them out and I'm thinking, you know what? I might keep all of them because they are, a, these are sexy shoes. And one thing about heels, they will never go out of style, guys. So let me show you the new ones. So first I'm going to show you these silver, these suede, uh, you know, I got to think for suede shoes. You see that now these suede, beautiful beautiful uh shoes i got from express just you know it's a rave you can get these these shoes people uh designers be having them for two and three thousand dollars and i think i got these on sale for under 50 and it is a sexy sexy shoe so that's the first new one the second one is i got these from H&M, I wanted some black wedges that when I go on vacation or if it's something I want to wear that goes up the foot and I think this is just too sexy, okay? And I like the, uh, the black stripes that's going through it. I'm glad it's not white. Uh, I think having the tan makes it even better. So these are at your H&M right now. So go get them these wedges. The thing about if you no longer want to wear heels, wear wedges. It's it's first of all, it's very comfortable. You know, wedges are more comfortable than heels. And it's it's it just I don't know, it just brings it out. It brings out and looks sexy, brings out your ankle, brings out, you know, you can have on jeans, you can have on a dress. I think it looks sexier with a dress or a skirt or anything that shows the the actual shoe. I think that is very, very sexy. The last pair I have is these Steve Madden shoes. First of all, these are those, and they're the jean ones, which is a neutral color, so it will go with so many things. 
This is definitely, I always have things for vacations that I only wear during vacations, and this would be one of them. I wanted the Dior slides very badly, but I'm still not ready to swipe, swipe that. Y'all know I'm a penny pinch, but if I want to, I will buy it. So if I find it on the secondhand site, I will get it, but I'm not, no, I won't pay the full price for it. And Steve Madden need to stop because they be coming out with some good stuff. This I got them in my true size because I didn't know whether to up, you know, go up or down. So I was like, I just give them because this narrow thing, you know, I got fat feet. So I still put it on. I bought it. It's on. There it is. So these ones right here that I bought, I bought to go on vacation with, and I just like them. And I think that, um, like I said, I'm going to get the Dior ones and I want them in red because I got a, uh, a bag that it can go with and I just don't want to pay full price. But that's it guys. So tell me which shoe you like. Tell me if it was a shoe you don't like. Um, but that's my quick little video. And oh, how am I going with my vegan knees? <laughs> how am I going with my veganism, right? Okay, so I'm going good. I'm still going strong. It has been one month now and I'm, I'm still going strong. Um, it wasn't hard to do. It's sticking to it because it cost me so much money to be a vegan like I said, because you have to have mostly fresh stuff. So, um, but I'm sticking to it. It's what I want. So it's what I'm going to do and I'm going to continue to do it. Uh, um, so, you know, it's all in your head on what you want to do and what you don't want to do. Um, my high blood pressure is going down thanks to medication and the fact that I've changed my diet. So that's going down. It's not as low as a normal, but let me tell you from hypertension stage two to even a high, uh, what people call the mid-range uh, high blood pressure, I, I'm, I'll take it. And I hope you join me next time. Bye, my butterflies. And remember, you are beautiful inside and out. Bye, guys.